As President Kenyatta's stint as president enters its sunset days, talks of who the central region is likely to throw its weight behind in the upcoming election continue to intensify each passing day. For many days, and today, Nyeri Governor Mutai Kahiga has thrown the spanner into the works, stating that the region has not yet decided where their support will lie in the 2022 race to the House on the Hill. Nobody should lie to you that we have made up our minds. <laughs> there is a bright na sasa atachukuliwa na yule mu, ambaye ameamua kukaa na sisi. Kahige's sentiments are likely to become the political dog whistle, given the fact that the Mount Kenya region has been said to have a political debt to Deputy President William Ruto for his support in the 2013 and 2017 elections. We will follow you when you can tell us what we stand to benefit as a region. According to Kahiga, the region will gravitate towards who will give the region prominence in government. We want you to go down, chief, then we can sit and talk. Including ANC party leader Musalia Mudavadi. Governor, I am here as a friend of Kiai. But I'll come back to look for my votes on a different occasion. Budavadi, who was in the region for a burial, says his eyes are firmly fixed on the presidency since the current administration has succeeded in failing Kenyans. Because the problem is the economy, number one. Problem number two, the economy. Problem number three, the economy. He says the current tribulations Kenyans continue to face are as a direct result of the poor leadership of the Jubilee government. Mwananchi ana anatoroka akisikia ukitaka kumtumia Mpesa na kuambia usinitumie kwa namba hiyo waacha nikutafutie namba ingine ni kwa sababu fuliza yamemaliza kila kitu I want to tell you that the way the government of Kenya has borrowed Mwananchi is worried about the fuliza at the grassroots the government is worried about the fuliza from those big creditors. 